Hello YouTube. Changes are coming to the famous Russian Antarctic station Vostok. I monitor news to the extent possible from that region and you can see my research in the attached playlist about this station in particular and Soviet and Russian operations in Antarctica in general. It looks like despite the current problems facing the Russian Federation, what with war and sanctions, the government of the Federation maintains keen interest in the faraway continent. I would say more precisely in the station Vostok. So on January 28th of 2024, Russian President Vladimir Putin took part in the ceremony of commissioning the Vostok station's wintering complex in Antarctica uh, via video link, according to Kremlin. Vostok Station, it was founded on December 16, 1957, during the second Soviet Antarctic expedition. It is the only operating inland Russian Antarctic station. It is named after the sailing sloop Vostok, one of the ships of the Antarctic expedition in the years 1819 to 1821. Since its opening, the station has undergone two reconstructions in 1974 and 1982, and three conservations. The first buildings have long been under a thick layer of snow, while more modern ones are partially or completely immersed in snow to the depth of up to five meters. The infrastructure of the station needs to be completely replaced. Therefore, a project is being implemented to build a new wintering complex at Vostok Station. You see, Vostok Station is located on the ice dome of Antarctica at the altitude of 3,500 meters. The new wintering complex, as noted in the Kremlin, is a modular structure of five blocks with an area of more than 3,000 square meters. It is designed to comfortably accommodate up to 15 people during the wintering period and up to 35 people during the seasonal period. The creation of the wintering complex for the station was completed in 2020. Currently, five Russian scientific stations operate on the continent all year round. Vostok is the southernmost and temperatures there reach minus 80 degrees. In such extreme conditions, Polar explorers, scientists, and experts of various professions are implementing large-scale research programs. And uh, this is quite a feat, according to Putin. Until recently, conditions at the station were very modest, austere, Putin added. The last major innovation, according to him, was carried out more than 40 years ago, and... Uh, the first buildings have long been buried under snow. Now the situation has changed. The station's capabilities have increased by an order of magnitude. Today it is one of the most modern and well-equipped in Antarctica. Therefore, I would like to address special words of gratitude to everyone who contributed to the creation of this new wintering complex, including, of course, Novatek. That's what the head of the Russian state said. The project of the new winter complex of the Vostok station in 2019 was presented by Leonid Michelson, chairman of Novatek Management Board, at a meeting of the Board of Trustees of the Russian Geographical Society. The company, as Putin recalled, invested several billion rubles in this project and completely transferred it to the ownership of this Russian state. Well, Putin and Lukashenko were sitting at the same table. On the screen in front of them, pictures of Antarctic landscapes, a tri-colored -color modules of the wintering complex, and polar explorers gathered on the other side of the earth changed. The staff of the Belarusian National Academy of Sciences were also nearby. The, you see the Belarusian Antarctic Station is located very close, only 20 kilometers away. 
It was a very difficult operation for transporting module to the crews of ships and teams of sledge tracked trains. All this equipment was transported by two motor ships accompanied by a diesel icebreaker, a tanker, and then another, a sledged tracked crossing of almost one and a half thousand kilometers. Moreover, the first 250 kilometers are an ascent to the height of 2,500 meters uh, through loose snow and snow drifts. These are long, hard, and hard snow ridges and quite high at a temperature of minus 50 degrees. For scientists, the opening of a new complex is a real housewarming, moving to a new, more comfortable apartments. The new complex will house scientific laboratories, residential and public spaces. Polar explorers even have a garage, energy centers, and technical units for a water purification and storage system. There's also a state-of-the-art medical unit with an operating room, pressure chamber, dental, and x-ray rooms for rest and recreation from, from their hard work. There's a mess room with billiards and a cinema room, a gym and a sauna. The Russian president called the project the most difficult. It was necessary to develop unique technologies and engineering solutions establish the production of station elements, make a turnkey modern and comfortable complex for people with a multiple margin of safety. So as we said, in the summer, 35 specialists will be able to live and work in the new Vostok station complex, and in in winter, there will only be 15 scientists and technicians. The complex is wrapped in mineral wool insulation up to 93 centimeters thick, and the facade is made of composite panels resistant to extreme frosts. According to the creators of the modular complex, all the main heating, energy, and water supply equipment are Russian-made. To understand how harsh the climate is where the Russian polar explorers work, Please know that this area is considered the South Pole of Cold. On July 21, 1983, the lowest temperature on Earth's surface was recorded here, minus 89.2 degrees Celsius. I know that for 25 to 2027 seasons, several billion are rubles are required to continue work, the president added, specifying that the government's decision on this issue has not yet been made. The opening ceremony was attended by President of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, who arrived in Russia on an official visit just the day before, on January 27. Authorities in Moscow previously have tied delivery of new module with the modules, with the 200-year anniversary of the Antarctic's discovery by the naval officer Fabian von Bellingshausen, who led the Russian expedition that spotted the previously unknown continent on the 27th of January, 1820. All this tells me that there's definitely something that is worth, worth exploring at the station, at the lake, of course, too, Hopefully, more information will become available. Anyway, if you're interested in the strange events of the 1940s in Antarctica, the Soviet information, and also in the recent developments at the station, including UFO observations and more, please see my previous videos about Antarctica. It's a very important part of our planet. And... Definitely, I'll do my best to keep you informed about news from Russia and, of course, other parts of the world. There's more and more interest in this continent internationally. Thank you for your attention to my work. If you can support my research, you can do so, please, through the links you'll find in the description to this uh, video. Please like my videos. Please tell others about my channel.